Mike Pompeo hasn't made any recent appearances on Capitol Hill and refused to give evidence ahead of Donald Trump's impeachment, a point not missed by the committee chairman. And there are dozens of other issues we'd like to ask you about, including the lawful subpoena that this committee issued in September that you've ignored. So we expect <clears throat> to see you here again. The Secretary of State was there to talk Iran, Iraq and the authorization on the use of military force. He rejected the idea he'd not been accessible since the U.S. drone strike, which killed Iranian General Qasem Soleimani. He claimed Congress had been briefed more than 70 times and said the military action in January had made America much safer. Removing him from the battlefield was a de-escalatory measure. His death reduced the risk to our personnel overseas, both my diplomats and our military, and made clear that we're willing and able to impose costs on our adversaries if they threaten or attack us. But there was anger on the Democratic side, one congressman asking if there was a clear foreign policy that was being followed. The list of actions that are legally and strategically questionable continue to pile up in this administration, and yet the administration refuses to provide clear and honest answers. These include pulling out of the JCPOA, no strategy, abandoning the Kurds, no strategy, Benef strategic benefit of assassinating Soleimani, no strategy. Pompeo was asked about the American response to the coronavirus. He said the U.S. was doing all it can to make people safe and even suggested it had offered to help Iran with its response. Mike Pompeo spent two hours in front of the committee and then left to speak to a Conservative conference all the way across the city. There are many here say they'd like to see him back again soon. They have many more questions and they're expecting clearer answers. Alan Fisher, Al Jazeera, on Capitol Hill.